Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Late Monday night, the Nebraska quarter zip comes back on as Matt Rule, the Nebraska Cornhuskers, landing another massive commitment in the number one player in the state of Nebraska, four-star linebacker Christian Jones. Now, the Nebraska fans who have been rocking with the boys the last couple of weeks and months know Christian Jones, not only a top target for Nebraska throughout this 2025 cycle, but really one of my favorite linebackers in this 2025 cycle, but what fires me up the most is the job Matt Rule is doing in the state of Nebraska, right? You go back to a guy like Carter Nelson in 2024, but I think most importantly, you know, Matt Rule knows that recruiting the state of Nebraska is huge. If you're a top kid in the state of Nebraska, you got to be playing your football for this Nebraska program. And Matt Rule knows that, and he's building his roster kind of through the state. And that's not to say he's not going to Texas and not going to Florida, not going to Missouri, because he's doing a great job all across the country. But you can tell he's making it a point to fill this roster up with guys that kind of know what the standard is at Nebraska, guys who grew up watching this Nebraska program. And I think that's important. You talk about one of the biggest differences between what we saw from Nebraska and Colorado on Saturday night. One team wanted it a little bit more. Like one, one team, it meant a little bit more in that football game. And I think that's because Matt Rule is getting these kids who they want to play for this program and they know what it means to play for this program. I think secondly, there is so much momentum that's building up with this Nebraska program. We said it heading into the game. Yes, this is a massive football game in the scope of 2024 season. This could be a massive football game for the future of Nebraska as well. So many top kids from across the country on campus to witness not only a beatdown, but I think more importantly, one of the more special environments in all of college football. You don't get that kind of game day experience at other programs. And so for Nebraska to kind of have that performance when the light was the brightest, I think that means something on the recruiting trail as well. Now I want to get into Christian Jones, talk about what I think he brings to this Nebraska defense, because not only is he just an elite linebacker when he dive into the film? But more importantly, I think he's exactly what you want from an off-ball linebacker in this modern era of college football. So we're going to get into that as well. Now, before we do, and as always, just want to say thank you to you guys, to the Nebraska fans. It's been a blast talking about this team in 2024. It's been a blast talking about this team on the recruiting trail, going back to the summer months. Whenever we talk about Nebraska, the amount of support y'all show the fellas, it's amazing. Appreciate you guys. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Without further ado, let's get into this one. Let's start with Christian Jones from an athletic profile. And why did I say Christian Jones is that kind of off-ball linebacker that, you know, fits where the sport of college football is going? It's because he's an elite athlete. I mean, find me many guys across the country that go, 11 seconds in the 100 meter dash, and then also do have a 50 foot shot put. So, you talk about power output, you talk about speed and space. This kid's checking all those boxes, and you can tell Nebraska is continuing to value these freaky athletes in terms of how they want to build this roster. It goes back to the old saying we always use, right? Give me the best athletes, I'll make them the best football players. That's truly Matt Rule's. Uh, thought process and how he goes about building a program. And you're seeing that reflected in terms of the kids that he's grabbing on the recruiting trail. Now you look at Christian Jones and I think why not only is he that modern era college football linebacker, because you look at linebackers, take a look at that game against Colorado. You have to have your linebackers have that ability to play in space, right? And the Colorado almost exclusively in that football game went for wide receiver sets and we're trying to challenge Nebraska from a speed standpoint out in space. You need linebackers that can deal with slot wide receivers, that can deal with running backs in the flat, that can carry tight ends up the seam. You need linebackers that are big, long, and fast. And Christian Jones is one of those guys. I think more importantly, he also has that Big Ten linebacker in him too. So when you play USC, yeah, he's going to be fast enough and athletic enough to deal with the speed that you're going to see. But then when you play Iowa or when you play Minnesota, and you need your linebackers to stay in the box and take on blocks and be physical in the tackle box, Christian Jones can do that too. I think you go back to the Scott Frost era and why Nebraska struggled so much against you know, some of those top-end teams in the Big Ten. They didn't have the team speed on defense to deal with teams like Ohio State and all the speed that Ohio State was able to put on the football field. 
you're seeing Nebraska take a very uh, a very strong approach in terms of, hey, we need team speed on defense. You go look at the Georgia Bulldogs. Why are they the best defense in the country and it ain't close? Because they're big, strong, fast. I mean, they make every other offense they play just kind of look like a JV team because athletically, George is a little bit different, especially with the team speed on defense. Nebraska is collecting just a ton of size and a ton of speed, and that has proven to be a very good way to build a college football roster because, again, give me the guys that you can't really teach size and speed. Like, if you're big and fast, you're big and fast. We can make you a good football player. We can teach you the technique of the sport of football, but we can't teach you to be 6'3". We can't teach you to go sub-11 in the 100-meter dash. And so Matt Rule is kind of filling his roster up with these kind of guys. And you get into the film, and one of the things that we always talk about in terms of Nebraska and who they want to get on defense, they want versatility, right? And so you turn on the film and say, where does Christian Jones play on the defensive side of the football? The answer is all over the football field. You'll see him play as an off-ball linebacker. You'll see him play as that overhang linebacker that guys like John Bullock were forced to play against Colorado because Colorado was going four wide. You'll even see Christian Jones come off the edge and how we know Tony White wants to bring pressure with his linebackers. So Christian Jones, from a football player standpoint, you know, kind of fits everything Tony White, Matt Rule looking for in Nebraska. One, really physical at the point of attack. I mean, what he does when he's taken on blocks, he's not afraid to put hands on offensive linemen, get off blocks and make plays around the line of scrimmage. That's kind of what you see first. I mean, this is really physical, and then we're going to get off the block and go find the ball carrier. So I think you've, one, really like the the physicality in which he plays with, and that's probably the biggest question, right? All right, sub-11, uh, sub-11, 100-meter uh, dash linebacker. Can he be physical enough to operate in the big time? You kind of see that on the film, but you also see the speed and you see the motor. This kid plays the right way, right? Coming off the edge, doesn't get to the quarterback, chases down backside. How many times did we see Nebraska make plays on Saturday night against Colorado because their guys were flying to the football? Nebraska makes it a point to have guys that play with a good motor. Christian Jones plays with a motor on the film, and that's something that it's hard to find these four or five star kids that, you know, are, are really, really gifted but also play really damn hard. Christian Jones is that guy. See him operating in space, reading the eyes of the quarterback, in zone coverage, coming off, making a play. A guy that's very comfortable operating in coverage. I think that has a lot to do with him being a slot wide receiver at the high school level Two phenomenal ball skills. So you look at Christian Jones and say, what can this kid not do? This is a really good example of physicality he brings, right? We all know he's an athlete. We see the play speed on the film. We see the sub 11 seconds in the 100 meter dash. What about the physicality? How about taking on this offensive lineman, driving him back, getting off the block, and then go making a play? Again, playing in space, Christian Jones certainly can do that. I I think this kid checks so many boxes, and we could watch the film all day, but you look at Nebraska and what they're doing in the 2025 cycle, you have to be, if you're a Nebraska fan, you know, fired up about not only what this class looks like, but more importantly, how you're building this class with just a lot of premier athletes from across the country. And I think what's so exciting is there's a lot of momentum with this program. Like because Matt Rule has come, because Dylan Rola has come, there are a lot of eyeballs on this team. And I think these kids from across the country are starting to realize what Nebraska looks like when it's buzzing as a football program. Now, I've had the unique opportunity as of being a guy from Western New York, having family that's Nebraska fans. And so I kind of understand it because I've kind of been immersed with it. Not a lot of these kids have, but they're getting on campus. They're understanding what this Nebraska program's about. And you're seeing it kind of get reflected on the recruiting trail. I think that's what excites me the most. We'll see how Nebraska finishes out in 2025, but it is hard to argue that if you're trying to buy stock in any sort of program across the country right now, buying stock in Matt Rule and where Nebraska's going is probably not a bad option. We'll cut it out there again. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys. And we'll talk to y'all later.